Good morning, everyone. Pastor Boyd here, District 1 Pastor, overseeing Youth College and Young Adults Ministry here at Charisma Life Church. The prayer focus for the final week of our 40 days of prayer and fasting is on our personal spiritual revival and breakthrough. We will be specifically praying for inner healing and deliverance. Someone once said that pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. It is really up to us if we are still going to allow the painful experiences in the past to continue to affect us even though it's not happening anymore. Whether it is pain that is caused by others or even pain that is caused by us from decisions that we now regret, it doesn't change the fact that one time in our lives, all of us have been hurt or have hurt others. And if not confronted, this will continue to affect our relationships in a negative way causing us to fear, and even hindering us to move forward in the new life that God wants us to experience. I have good news for us today. Psalms 23, verse 1 to 3, the Bible tells us, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. God wants to restore our souls. The soul is the part of our being where we express our will, our emotions, and our decisions. It is where we connect with others through relationships. It is through our soul in relation to others that we experience joy through memorable moments in life. But it is also with our souls that we experience trauma through painful moments, whether experiencing loss of a loved one, hurtful words that was said to us, or even betrayal of a spouse or a close friend. Whether you are the offended or the offender, God is willing and able to restore our souls and bring us to a place of inner healing and deliverance. And it starts by allowing God to heal our souls by trusting in His words through reading His words and obeying it. And as we do this, we will realize how much He has loved us and has forgiven us of all our sins, therefore giving us the strength and the grace to forgive those who have hurt us, setting us free from all bitterness and allowing us to live our lives in the present and find the hope in the promises that He has for us in the future, God wants to restore our souls. Always remember, it is not about trying, but it's all about trusting. And as we do this, we find ourselves experiencing God's healing through His Word and through the power of the Holy Spirit. The more that we trust Him, the more that we will experience Him, the restorer of our souls. Let's bow down our heads and pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you that you are willing and able to restore our souls, that the painful experiences that we have uh, experienced in the past, oh Father God, thank you that we can find healing in your words and in your name, that in you and through you, we are a new creation. You said in your word, oh Heavenly Father, that whoever is in Christ is a new creation, the old has gone and the new has come. Thank you, Lord, that you have presented yourself as the good shepherd and you bring us to a place where we can find green pastures. And not only that, that you are here to restore our soul. I pray for everyone who is listening to this prayer that they will experience your, your power, O oh Lord, your healing, O oh Lord, and that they will experience your love like never before, that they will be able to not only forgive those who have hurt them in the past, but also experience your forgiveness, Lord. I pray, O oh Father, that you will continue to move mightily in our midst, that you will continue to heal us from within, Lord, so that not only that we will be healed of all the things that happened in our, in our past, that we will be healed from the painful experiences in the past, not only that we will be healed in our hearts and in our souls, but also you will use us to become an agent of healing to others for your glory and for your namesake. We love you and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a good day.